Spoilers, the house is about to blow up when Dr. Wagner tries to make that uh, uh, homunculus experiment work. So uh, Don't worry, let's... don't worry folks, we looked at this looked at the script ahead of time. So let's uh, go let's go to let's go to the time period that was ten days after the experiment and see how uh, how it fared. Gee, I wonder what will go wrong. If anything. Well, I mean Possibly, oh, wow. surely nothing could go wrong with the Philosopher's Stone experiment. Let's see what happens when you take a wrong turn from Uranus. Oh wait, that's Buzzy 3D, never mind. No, that's up your <laughs> that's up Uranus. Uh... Well, let's go check out that house and see uh, if uh Yo, if judging, from the, came back. judging from the, the smoke, uh, it's already gone and gone to pass. Oh boy. Oh no. Hello, is anybody here? Anybody? That's the first time I've heard you use that voice. Anyone there? <laughs> Shit, I should probably not have said that. <laughs> please, please censor that bit when doing uh, post Logan. I I know what you're trying to say, but yeah, I will I will I will bleep that out. Thank you. I don't remove it entirely. Uh, anywho, <laughs> make me sound like a peanut parent. Here? Is this a time machine? <laughs> oh. It's a time machine. Oh! We're just putting the sound of Mario going, Whoa! It sounded like Margaret's voice just now. So that means someone went into so the future. So the explosion wasn't from the experiment. Or... I, it, well, no, I think the explosion happened because remember, it was like the explosion happened, and then 10 days later they showed up. Oh. And then there, but that time machine was pointed to my time period oh hmm. i mean i mean whoever was able to figure that out was uh pretty damn pretty damn he was pretty much on the money a smart cookie. so it worked in some regard honestly what it makes me yeah. what, what i'm wondering how is how were they able to figure that out hmm. yeah you think like not only that how would they have figured out what time period i came from like what the exact day year and time of day to I mean unless whatever. we left left something behind like it I don't know maybe a strain of our hair scent Also how the hell did he get my number How does he even have a phone Hugo Who taught him how to use a phone uh, he probably looked at he probably looked at the pamphlet He's a freaking rat is what he is Regardless, yeah. Oh, yeah. Regardless, freaking yes, it was Hugo. It was For, Hugo the whole time. I mean, I, I mean, I can say right now, the whole reasoning behind all this is Hugo is uh, upset at us because he believes we murdered his father in the sense of like, if we didn't give him that philosopher's stone then he wouldn't have tried to pursue his experiments and he wouldn't have lost him and or he wouldn't have like let Helena the mo the mother die uh, there's a lot I figured he was mostly just mad because of mommy issues he's basically blaming Ike for everything that went wrong in his life what I'm just thinking like how do you make a digipad just from scrap in the 1500s oh he got the future completed and gave it to him oh uh, wait a minute <laughs> I'm sorry. Wouldn't that already cause a paradox? I'm sorry. What the fuck yeah, did I, you just say? I guess along. I guess as long as they don't physically touch, and he just kind of puts it on a table and says, "Hey, or have this." Come to think of it, did, did the Eggman of the future in the past touch themselves <laughs> during the course of Jerry? James, you could have worded that any way. Totally there was a different have. way that totally could have been said. Yeah. Did they? Did they poke each other at least? I don't know. They did they? Did they? Did they caress each other's mustaches? They Do they admire each one? As usual. <laughs> each and every follicle of that stash. Probably a blessing this guy's hype's probably not going to rewatch this hey. anytime soon, so. Never. Do you think we're ever going to get a, uh... Oh yeah, by the way, he's also holding Margaret a captive. Uh, do, you think we're ever going... do you think we're ever going to get a, uh... Do you think we're ever going to get a Sonic game where they actually say Snoopin as usual in the game? I mean... I hope it, we do. It... It depends on whoever is writing the script. Also, Boy, holy shit, they're, they're in color! Now, now they're in color, and holy sh I never would have guessed her her uh, dress was that blue. I thought it was and going I to be found red. a knife! Also, yeah, he's finally putting two and two together of who he noticed and... Dun, dun, you were dun. an evil man. You know, a little... You know, the nighttime ambience could be a little better here. Yeah. It's day-night. Never mind that. 
Where's homunculus? Homunculus. Please what stop now? saying that name. It sounds silly when it comes out of your mouth. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the homunculus. Also, here comes like one of the best lines of the game. Isn't that right? Uh, coming from this knobhead. Of course, he he really he really pulls off the bratty <laughs> voice. So <well. laughs> Jerry Lewis. Oh, I've been doing. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to hurt the pretty lady. <laughs> the lady, which I have no relation to. He should, shouldn't he? Or... Well, wait, no. I mean, Ike has no relation to him. Oh, right. But yeah, I think well, here it is. What I really wanted was to get here earlier and stop what you were doing. Uh-huh. But all my machine could do was follow yours. Oh. oh. So yesterday's you because I thought I could manage to get to you before you did the things you did today. <laughs> this? I had so many chances. Not for nothing. What the fuck was that? This kid sounds, this kid sounds like a, pro, this kid sounds like he's going into his inner Jason Griffith Sonic. He's trying. And yeah, I heard that too, Eki. It's a little, uh... Can't stop it's word salad. So I'm switching to another plan. What plan? If I can't prevent homunculus from being created in the first place, yes. I'll destroy it. Uh, how you'll destroy that? That seems to be the only way to get a hold of the philosopher's stone. Right, because homunculus is made of it or from it or stone. whatever. What use it's it's hard. Hold I it. shall gut my sister like Here a fish. Go. Not for revenge, get it? Yeah. Homunculus destroyed my family, and you're the one who had him created. Not I mean, necessarily. I'm just... Hugo, I can't believe that's true. Listen to the sister; she's speaking sense. I won't believe that's true. Like that. The way she, the way he's hold, holding her up like this, makes it look like she, she's pretty much acting like a puppet. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, he, like she's just dummy. Exactly. <laughs> he's just gently like. And that happens to be another major twist. I I totally buy it. Whenever it suits you, all right? I I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. But it starts drinking a glass of water while she still talks. <laughs> oh, that is impressive. If we got hold of it, we could save mother. I is this what it's all the conclusions, kid. Save? What do you mean by that? I can save her life. She no, was you sick in the 1500s. This time I'll succeed, and she'll be alive again. Well, or you know, you could go back in time to the point before she was sick, kill off the Hugo of that time, and grow up uh, in his place. <laughs> I don't think that would work. I, that would be... uh, oh wait, but that, then think... that would end up killing him. Yes, exactly. I he would have to like I don't I don't know like. <sighs> but you're right. Like, why didn't he just use the time machine to just go back or? Or, or again, right I'm also thinking like, wait, too. if he could use the time machine to go back in then time, why doesn't he why... stop his own father from doing the thing? And even and even if the argument is, oh, he can, his machine can only follow uh, Ike's huh? machine around, then don't freaking kill him. Use the time machine to go there, and instead, all the times that you were stabbing him in the back, just walk up, tap him on the shoulder, say, hey, so uh, don't you do killed this, my mom. pretty please. I'm mad at you. You know, it's kind of a sad shame this is on, this is in 2001. If this were 2003, we could just tell the kid, hey, uh, there's this anime I could recommend you to prove why you should probably not go through with this plan. Your mother and alchemy do not end well. Exactly. Was that really? If you don't believe me, believe this dog. It, it was. Really? It definitely. Ha I want to say it happened. Like it started after this game came out. Oh yeah, no, but but I was I was just thinking like, wow, was that actually 2000? You know, look that up. Let me see. Uh, it has to have been somewhere around that oh, time because. Uh, oh and yeah. Oh and uh, again, I realize that this. I realize that this uh, threat of threat of his actually means nothing because I already gave away the big twist in the last part. But he well, he believes that Margaret is our ancestor, and so he and so we now need to try and find Homunculus and bring him and bring Homunculus to uh, Hugo. Uh, otherwise, he will uh, leave Margaret in this time period, thinking that that will kill us. When again, we now know it was actually Dana who's our ancestor, not Margaret. I mean, well, to be fair, know, but I, I, don't, I, was, I was about to say, I, in terms of the game at the moment, I don't think Ike has had any idea of that. I know, I know. So for now, we're going back to the one time period because, fair enough point. We never really find Homunculus. He only he always shows himself to us. But now we're going to go 
he so the one time us. period where we did happen upon him, which was if you head down these stairs beside a tree that's uh, over to the left, because I got lost for a little bit. Sorry. So I'm supposed to we... figure this out. But you, you're just supposed to wander around until you find a courtyard uh, because you saw him walking to the left away from the street, which is, aha. Uh -huh. Normally, you, you just kind of happen upon him. Hey there, buddy. What's wrong? Hey, right, what's up, James? Uh, never mind. We found homunculus. Doesn't homunculus not know of us in this point? Uh... Like, we already established that at some point in time. Like, the homunculus that gives us the bitch pad is the one that knows of us. The one that took the baby and ran off doesn't. I mean, also... I think, wouldn't you th assume Homunculus is well aware of our current plan, considering, again, he more or less, he kind of controls our fate at the moment. So, who's to say Hugo, like, stabs us again, we go to that little purgatory room with Homunculus just waiting there, we strangle him by his tiny little neck, and or we can just Or we can just ask him nicely, uh, hey, this kid's literally trying to kill this poor defenseless girl, uh, would you mind, uh, coming with me and help clear things up? So straight, just, up, uh, so, 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 straight, so straight up, Homunculus is explaining now why he was taking that baby somewhere. So Homunculus and all of this has been wanting to keep Ike alive, and I will explain why in a bit later, but he, literally the reason why he switched babies since the beginning was because he knew that Hugo was going to try and do the whole I'll leave your ancestor in the future. So Margaret is the Dana of Mr. Eckert. So oh. So literally Homunculus thought so far ahead that this may be a possibility that he he grabbed a baby from the 1500s and swapped it with a baby from the, you know, 1900s so that when Hugo would try to do this whole, you know, hostage situation, Homunculus knew it wouldn't succeed because he didn't have the actual ancestor. You know, I guess it would explain why Margaret did kind of stick out from the rest of her family. Likewise, when you really think about it, Dana looks like she would fit right in with uh, that, that, uh, Pack of loonies. And I mean, also now she and, does. and also explains why she had why she had a, a sentimental uh, tie to that comb that Mr. Eckert then had a sentimental attachment to. So uh and of course Homunculus thinks, oh I'm just I was just doing the right thing and doing all this uh, he Homunculus does not care for other humans all that much. I mean he is he pretty much just is a being above humanity. Which no, there, there's no which. But to anyone asking, there is no like final boss. It's just, yeah, homunculus toying with other people's lives because uh, he just wants he to can. keep himself. He wants to keep himself God. alive, right? Which I guess that's the other thing behind all this. So I guess we can talk about that. Is he will mention it later in the finale? But the whole reason why he's been doing any of this is because he wanted, he needed to make sure that Ike would give that philosopher's stone to Doctor Wagner. Because that would in turn mean that Homunculus would be created and avoid Homunculus, you know, Marty McFly fading away out of existence. There's, uh, there's a lot of looping to this, Icky. It's basically just just know that this entire time Homunculus has not been trying to save Ike. He's just been trying to save himself. Yeah. By saving Ike? Yes, because that Ike would save him in the... I will give them credit. I will. I, I will absolutely give them credit in that. As far as it, it becomes wordy, it's very. It, it kind of starts, you know, wrapping itself in circular logic at times. But I will give them at least some credit for being courageous enough to attempt a like honest to goodness time travel story with all of the paradoxes and the, you know, you know, parallel branching paths that they can, that come along with it. I'll give them props for attempting that because. Trying to write a time travel story and make sure that all that everything is accounted for and there's no big plot holes, it's tricky. And I mean, it's still pretty stupid at the end of the day, but... But look at that little joke. Hmm. I'm sorry, but... My eyeballs have basically been on static TV for like the past two minutes. What just happened? Yeah. 
basically, just in short, we're learning why Homunculus swapped the two babies in the first place because he was accounting for Hugo pulling the hostage situation. So he literally did all of this to take away Hugo's trump card. You. And Ike is upset because it's like, well, listen, you just met, you just. You just you messed up the lives of two is. girls for just for this Excuse kind of thing. Are you trying to let oh, so he's so trying to be all high and mighty when Homunculus literally just like saves his skin several times over. Yeah, no, he yeah. As you're seeing here, like Homunculus really has well, no. Uh, see he has he has no uh, ties to any of this. And going? crap, that was the guy we needed to help us out. Well. At this point, we don't really need his help because Margaret and Hugo are kind of inconsequential now. Yeah. At, this, at the end of the day, though, it's not like we want to go out and just let him just up and weird. stab his not sister. Yeah, we, let's at least try to save Hugo's life. Let's, let's, not Hugo. Let's at least try to save Margaret's life. No way. But we have to she, save she, Dana, she, right? Dana? Well, no, Dana's already accounted for. Like, she's done. Yep, so Dana will just leave there and ta-da! Dana was your ancestor all along, you dumbo. So, we can just ignore Dana at this point. Why do we still have a countdown timer to our death? I mean, uh, do, I mean, that's the thing. Do we still have that countdown? We do. Uh, let's. Do, well, well, the fated time is four thirty. That's when Hugo's either gonna kill us or leave Margaret thinking that it'll kill us, which we now know to be, you know, that's not gonna happen. I mean, honestly, just let him do it. Yeah. Besides, like, if he just leaves Margaret there. We could still bring Margaret back to her time. There's nothing also, stopping the... us from using the digipad to bring her and Ike back to the 1500s. Which I guess this that, which you know what that does remind me, the fact that you know, by all accounts, Amunculus is pretty much done with us. So, and yet he's still letting us keep the digipad. Yeah, we just have well, a free time machine for the rest of our life, I guess. Well, do you want to know? Uh, I think we're also going to learn some stuff about this fortune teller as well. Mm -hmm. I do believe we are. We're about to see the origin story of Miss Fortune Telling Person Ghost thing now. You see, all along, James, that fortune teller who's been living here mysteriously. She is Hugo's mother. Dun, dun, dun. She is Helena. B basically, and again, I'm sorry if I'm talking over these cutscenes. But like, for for the people watching, these cutscenes are very. If you want to live, if you want to watch the three to five hour long movie of watching all of this, then by all means go and watch it. But for now, this is Helena. Uh, long story short, Hugo tried to, after uh, Doctor Wagner died. Hugo tried to bring Helena back on his own and fucked up, and did not and. He should have seen the anime, James. I agree with you. Well, uh, th that's the problem. It, the anime didn't exist in this time, in this current year. Then we have to go forward two years in the future when it does exist. So yeah, all that happens. So, yeah, Hugo managed to bring. Hugo managed to take a lock of Helena's hair and tried to bring her back, but all that came out was a weird spectral being, and that's also why you can only see her hair physically. The rest of her doesn't exist. In that's this, why she's like, wearing all this. You know, so, I didn't think uh, of it that way until now, but... Huh. So yeah, the experiment failed, and she's been forced to uh, take on this timeless uh, life ever since. And uh, That could fear cause, nothing. Because Hugo went mad. Because as it turns out, he accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Chemical hair. <gasps> also, I love the fact that I'm seeing all of these like experiments and things, and, there's, and I still have to remind myself they're wearing... I... It's a cat. And yet, and yet all their make, and yet, and, and throughout all of this, I have to remember they're wearing short skirts and tunics. The pain. Stop Okay, well. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't play God. And from that, he learned nothing. Yeah, because now, it, 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 interesting that he just glosses over this in your big confrontation that he he just screwed up, and yet he still what blames are you us. Going here? Father. Father. I I 
Never mind. Just I thought he was going to just straight up smack him, but this isn't Father. a rated T game, I don't think. No, I'm pretty sure this is rated M. Room again. Oh, I guess because the death stuff. Yeah, that's fair. It's very low budget death, but it's death there. regardless. Brought back my spirit alone to this world. Stripped of the protection. That's why you gotta wear all them fancy clothes, even the in the summer. Oh. That's why you should always wear a helmet before you go onto a construction site. Why do you think we're all just walking meat sacks? It's to keep us warm. Yeah. As it turns out, humans aren't the body or the bones or the skin. No, they're just the brain and the weird tendrils uh, tears that come out but, of it. But now she will never rest in peace again because of her stupid, nonsensical son who Why just wouldn't also, yeah, get a job. The, actually, that's a good point. Why didn't you tell him? Yeah. Get oh, your ass that's out that's. Of oh, wait, wait. There we go. That's the answer. What? Well, wait, actually, hold something. on. Bullshit. Bullshit. Hold on. He, I'm, he had to have heard heard that, oh, that all that screaming that she was doing when she her spirit was brought back to life. Exactly. She, he was I, reacting to it. Uh, he looked like he was being. It looked like he was scared at the boiling water because it was the 1500s and they. Were oh, too you smart. know what? I mean, granted, yeah, never mind. I just remembered. I just realized. Technically, that was all from her perspective. From his perspective, right. he just heard the how the just the, the pot boiling and the explosion and stuff and. So she's she's also theorizing that the reason why we can see her is because we've been in this perpetual state of like between life and death, like will we die? Won't we die? And maybe that's why we can see her. There's also a second reason why we're able to see her, but again, I'll wait until a little bit later to bring her. So up yeah, I would like to call. I would like to take back my uh, earlier accusation ac accusation of bullshit. I mean, granted, right. I guess what you say about this game, it's like it it does tie itself. Fairly okay, it's but it's, all, it, 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 but it's it also is, very convoluted. It is trying. The problem is that it is... How to put this? Someone... I was once watching some videos that was describing about how to tell stories. Wait, but, your husband didn't create homunculus? Oh, but... But it's like... The way they said it was... The way they put it was... You have to imagine, like, a two-by-two two square of, like... There's a simple, there, like there's there, there's two kinds of stories, a simple one and a complex one, and then there's two ways to tell a story. You either tell a story very simply, or you tell a story very complexly. So, time travel is by nature a very complex story to kind of tell, and unfortunately, in trying to cut and trying to dot all their eyes and cross all their t's, the game becomes a story that's a complex one told complexly. Right. So it becomes very wordy and, as Icky said, very static-brained. But I can at least see they're trying. They're trying very hard to make this as simple as possible for people to understand. But it just I think what, what also doesn't help is that they do they don't do a very good job of of explaining its own rules. That's also true. Like you don't learn half these rules until the end, and technically you don't even learn some of these rules until some of the endings, which are optional. I'd argue they're trying too hard to tell this story. Therefore, it becomes borderline incomprehensible to people like me. Like I understand I mean, how ever I understand how this plot is going, but like Why don't you just tell him that yourself, lady? Because well, he can't hear But I but I agree I get what you're I get what you're coming from, Mickey. Cause I, hell I if he's I... going to listen to us. I wish I could just wait. Oh yeah! By the way, uh, she was the this ghost. entire room was just a ramshack. We were, we. Were... What could this mean? Well, all right. And in any case, uh, stay tuned for the finale, in which uh, hopefully all this like insanity is gonna collide like in a car crash of colors, like how Alice in Wonderland ended. And uh, <laughs> maybe we'll make some sense. And or well, that was that's just one ending that you could get in the game, but that's not the ending we're gonna get. Stay tuned for the actual actual ending we're gonna get. Tune in next oh. time where Ike Kush falls down an open manhole cover. <laughs>